nature, I'm a jacket and tie man, a suit man. I'm a practitioner of putting up a very fine impression. The Italians, well, I'm Italian. They call it la bella figura, the, 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 good, the good figure. My name is Gay Talese. I have been a reporter probably for 70 plus years. I'm 80 now and I started when I was about 15 and 16 as a high school reporter. And I work pretty much now as I did when I was a young person. We're in what I call a bunker. This was a wine cellar back in, in the old days. I come here from, from the main staircase of the house. I have to go out to the sidewalk and I descend another 11 or so steps to where we are now, the subterranean think tank of mine. And this is where I work. There's no telephone down here. So this is a hideaway. This is one place in New York where I think a writer can be alone without any distraction. I'm a nonfiction writer. I'm not interested in novels or any kind of fiction, but I am interested in storytelling. I'm interested in nonfiction, sometimes book length or sometimes articles, some of them quite long for magazines such as The New Yorker. I don't use a tape recorder. I do not try ever in the presence of people to be taking a note. I try to do it discreetly. And in the breast pocket of my jackets are always pieces of cardboard cut to the shape of the pocket. It's like an interior pocket square. No one sees it, look at that. Very neat. I'll go home and I type up all my notes also, what was the date, where I was, some of my impressions of the person. When I started as a young journalist for the New York Times, the paper of record, I took that very seriously. I save everything, and I think that I'm a person of record. And I like to decorate. I mean, I'm probably a frustrated interior decorator or maybe a fashion designer. And I try to break my filing down using these folders as a way of sectioning off my material from clipping from magazines, pictures of the personalities, pictures of the secondary characters, and also in chronological order. Everything is dated. You'll see this starts in 45, 53. This is just a record of everything, every place I've been, people I've seen, what I've done. That's the 50s. Here's the 60s to the 80s. I can go on and on. The whole 21st century so far is here. Every one of these is filled like this. Some people collect a lot of stuff, and then they don't know where it is. I know where it is. Go on file. I had a pair of white glasses with a red cover. Do you see anybody see them? I must get my glasses. Excuse me. I wish the hell I could find my glasses. So it's a whole process of giving worth to every moment of your day. I've seen things. I've interviewed people, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people over many years. By saving it, I'm just not being like a collector of stuff. I'm a documentarian of, of what it is that I do, who I know, what I see. So this stuff is never dead, because stories never die. Stories are never over. This is the origins of an article. The origins of an article. Oh, here it is. Here's a, I have a pair of glasses here, hidden under these cards. Okay, 